lawyers this week. When I got done, one guy came over to me frustrated. He goes, man, I keep on failing. It took me four times to pass the bar. I'm trying to start my business. I keep on failing at that. The whole time he was talking to me, I started smiling. He goes, why are you smiling? I said, because you missed it. I don't see failure. I see grit, determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. A whole bunch of people out here never fail because they never try. He said, how do you handle failure, Goggins? I said, I don't look at that failure. I think that's my first, second, third attempt. One thing in life, that's for sure. The value always wins. Stay hard. Don't follow the crowd. This it, it is important time of your life. This, this time was the most volatile time of my life when I was a teenager. Now you think, you think when you're a teenager that that is life. Like that those kids, those people you're around, everything there is your whole entire life. That if you're cool, you gotta fit in, you gotta, all these things have to happen now in this high school time of life. You're so far from the truth by thinking that, you won't hardly even see these people again. This is a great time for you now to start calculating your mind and figuring out what you want to do with your life. Start to develop your own personality, your dreams, your, 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 your values, what you want to stand for, standing for yourself, having a moral compass, and big time not falling in the crowd. But one thing about high school and being a teenager, that is a snapshot of life. But for some reason, when, when, when you're a teenager, you believe that these people are gonna follow you to your death. And they're just your whole life. So understand this, man, I'm 43. I've probably seen two people from high school and that's not on purpose, it's just what it is. Back in the day, it was for the mere fact of, I had a lot of motivation, a lot of drive. And a lot of it was just me changing who I was. Now how I stay motivated is I travel around the country and I speak to people, young kids, older people, black, white, from all different races, colors, genders, religions, everything. And my message is always about can't hurt me. Can't hurt me is just about staying true to who you are, staying real. There's so many people that do what I do who are inspirational speakers, motivational speakers, whatever. You put yourself out there like this to be the ultimate leader. People are trying to see what you're talking about and live off your example. What motivation is now, what keeps me going up every day? People who listen to me, people who follow me, people who trust in me, people who want to be better. I have to live by example. So when it's miserable outside, when I don't want to study, when I don't want to do, even clean my house, make my bed, I will be a liar like I used to be if I'm telling you something that I'm not doing every single day of my life. I have to live by example. I have to live my life. So I couldn't talk to you all today if I didn't have these here following my run. If I didn't run before I talked to you all, I wouldn't have the motivation or the courage to talk to you all because I would be right now false. I would be lying. So what motivates me now is knowing that I live what I talk about and that's what it is now. I want to practice what I preach. That's my motivation now. I wanted to figure out, is there more to this horrible feeling of feeling like a loser? Can I change this? And once you figure out I have the ability, not through your mom or your dad or through a special school, through you. You have the ability to change this. That's what makes it so mad. Once people put this title on me, you now give yourself a get out of jail free card and say, oh, he's just crazy, he's special, he's unique, he's this and that. You just saved yourself. From not having to do the From work. From not having to do the work. Yeah. And that's why I want people to hear my story. I'm trying to take away all that bull crap that you want to put on me. I'm trying to make you suffer up here to know I'm not that you really had a long way to go. There was nothing special about it. You weren't talented. You weren't getting it. You weren't talented.
He wasn't confident that he made it. I want everybody to feel uncomfortable around me. That's it. Because I want you to go home and think about yourself. Yeah. Think about yourself, man, because you're leaving so much on the table for the possibilities of what you can be. The first five hours of my day, I am very uncomfortable. First of all, every morning I get up and people think I love to run. <laughs> I don't. You that's know, why you do it. That's why I do it. And, and people don't understand the mentality. Oh, you have to love it, man. No. Running has changed my life because every morning I know I'm gonna do it. If you know it, every morning you do something you don't like. Every morning I'm gonna do it for, and guess what? If I just ran for an hour a day, a day is 24 hours, right? What percent is that? What's one hour of 20, was that 4%? Yeah. I, a small percent. But anyway, that's why I know I'm at a, a high level, because I'm at this, not wanting to be this, you know, uncomfortable. I put myself in the dungeon, every day off jump, out of bed, and start. While most people lose the battle in the morning, like once you leave your beautiful house, the war starts. Nowadays it starts before you leave home. The phone rings, social media is up, the world's attacking you. If you don't control what you can to build that armor, so in the morning time, what I'm doing is I'm building my armor. It gets broken every night. I get up in the morning time, I start to build the armor, that's right. I build the armor. I face the world. Because now I know there's going to be some disappointments along the way every day. Yeah. That's life. But if you face disappointments already in victory, the things I can control is I can control my run. Mm -hmm. I can control how my house looks, how my, how my world is. I can control that. So I've won. Open my door of life. Life starts to beat me down. So I'm facing it with the body armor that I created. Yes. And now I'm facing life with, with, with the proper tools. Unlike, I hit the snooze button, I'm running late, my house is a mess, my mind's a mess. Now life's already beat you. So you open the door and now life hits you and you're already frustrated. You're already in that anxiety mode. You're stressed already. And then life starts to pile more on top of you. You get home, you're exhausted. And that's how life happens to everyone. You have to live and win what you can and build the body armor. Start callousing the mind so you're ready for combat outside of your house. So two guys actually help me train for a marathon. Oh, it's a day to train. It's 40 degrees. Rain it. Windy. Nasty. Those cats are inside the treadmill. You can't let conditions dictate your outcome. They believe that if it rains or snows or it's too windy, they may cancel the marathon. They ain't cancel. You better train with every conditions they give you. The person that usually feels me, she's taking a day off in the car right now. This is too nasty. Don't do the same. Stay home. Everybody, it's Groundhog's Day again for David Goggins. If you pan it down here, you see it's about three o'clock in the morning and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. Not a car or a person in sight. People wanna know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate it's a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the f after it every daggone day. Stay hard.